So I went to Forever Retro again today and I picked up another little battle beast with his weapon. This is Danger Dog. <laughs> um, I can't quite figure out whether he's um, earth, wood or fire because I think someone's had a, had a go at his chest plate. I think he's wood, um, if I were to guess. Just about, I think we can't make that out, but the Eye of Faith, I think that's a log. Um, so like the Transformers, they have these little um, stickers you can sort of rub on their bellies basically to try and figure out what, um, what elements they're supposed to be and that determines who wins the battles between them. Um, I went for him because he's got his, his weapon and basically it kind of doubles their value if they have their weapon. Um, so it's well worth splashing out if you can afford it. Um, hilariously, I also picked up um, one of the laser beasts who are related to them. Um, and they have little sort of, how best to describe it, but almost like little sort of holograms in their stomachs instead. And you have to look at them with a light source behind them to see what element they are. And I realised that it was twice the price of this guy, so I put it back down very, very carefully. Um, I mean, people do, you know, they, these are actually still quite collectible. I think there's been um, there's been a release of a sort of um, a guide to them that people use as their sort of Bible when they're trying to collect them. So I imagine it'd be quite good fun. I mean, I had several of these when I was little. And the lovely thing about them is that they, they just fit in your pocket. And with some of them, they've got kind of... Um, built-in weapons on on their hands so even if you don't have the weapon with you you can still get play value out of having the weapon um sort of on their hand available to you so i, I really quite liked them you know because um they weren't as as big and complex as as the transformers were and, and that sort of thing you know so it was good they were some pocket money pocket money toys back in the time so that was him and i also picked up this and i recognized them um as soon as I saw them when I went when I went in last, now he's a bit bigger. So I might have to actually orient him this way for you a little bit. But um, he is um, from the Pirates of Dark Water. Let me just see if I can um, manually adjust the camera here for you, so you can see him a little bit better. Because um, he was one of the um, the baddies. He was a, um, a pirate called Mantis, apparently. And yes, I did have to look that up because I'm not that familiar with it. But um, I did quite enjoy the series. And you can see here, his, um, his sculpting is really good. He's got chest muscles. He's got a, he's got a, a nose ring there. And he's got, his, he's got his weapon, which I felt was a, a bonus. I've no idea how collectible they are um, as, as these things go, you know. Um, as I've said before, I don't generally collect with a view to value particularly. I go for ones that, that I like or have a, a memory of. And um, this series I do remember because as I told the gentleman in the shop, there's um, the, uh, it's really good detail and those joints are really good and, and stiff. It's, 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 it's nice. It's a nice figure. Um, as I told the, the 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 gentleman in the shop, the what really sort of sticks in my mind about Pirates of Dark Water is that um, they use this phrase called noijitat, which was basically their idea of a of a naughty word. So I used to use that in school when I didn't want to get clobbered for using a naughty word, but felt like one was necessary. So if I just said noy jet tat, I could get away with it. <laughs> so it was quite handy like that. But I, I really like him. He's, um, I'm not even sure what size he is technically. Um, hang on, Jean-Luc might be around, although I don't actually know what, what size Jean-Luc Jean is technically either. But um, he's, I would say he's about a head taller than Jean-Luc is. Not, not dissimilar, not dissimilar, but um, he's he's definitely got more. He's got more sort of solidity to him. He's not as articulated as, as Jean Luc is. He's got no. He hasn't got his weak knees or elbows that work, but he's he's very very well sculpted. There's obviously a lot of attention to detail there, and apparently, Pirates of Dark Water was really expensive to make. I didn't know this. It was um, a Hanna Barbera cartoon. But they used a surprising number of animation cells to um, to do the series, which made it far more expensive to, to create. So, um, yeah, quite an interesting sort of backstory to it. But as I say, one of those really obscure, very, very early 90s, I think it was, series. So it was just edging out of the 80s, um, Pirates of Dark Water. And... Um, yeah, so I mean, you see, you know, as I say, there are videos on YouTube available to have a look at if you want, if you're interested to find out a bit, a bit more about it. But um, I just thought it'd be quite, quite entertaining to have an example of one of the characters. He's such a, 
a well done figure, it would have been rude not to. Um, I did pick up a couple of other things today. Um, ironically, I picked up a yet another Buck Rogers Starfighter that I, either I'm finding them or they're finding me. Um, although it's 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 actually the cleanest example of one that I've got and most complete, except that on getting it home, I've discovered that the wings aren't quite going all the way back in again for them to pop out again, but I'll, I'll have to have a look in, at that. And um, I also picked up a rather nice um, Fraggle Rock book, but I'm going to have to sort of set things up differently to do a video on that one but and i'm gonna have a look through it myself first just to see what it is but it's not an annual unusually it seems to be just a sort of picture book um so i'm gonna have a look, a look at that in due course but again those weren't those weren't uh, ones i was particularly looking for but that, that's the joy of browsing oh and i've also got a box that is bigger on the inside than the outside hmm true story so anyway i'll um when i've got a different setup going i'll um, i'll show you those but that, that's it for now cheers <laughs>